Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Tommy Tony. Uh, I'm here today to uh, talk to you about War 1.5. So the latest version came out last weekend. And uh, I'm doing a small video to show it off. So here you have two teams facing each other in a team death match. So that's what uh, War gives you. War is a bucket plugin for a Minecraft multiplayer. As you can see, we've got a brand new War Zone here. People are trying it out blowing it up. All these blocks will reset at the end of the game so that's pretty nice. And uh, you can have flags so you can play uh, capture the flag. You can do all a bunch of stuff with war. So let's go back to the war hub. The war hub is what uh, links all the war zones together. So here we are at the war hub. The war hub is also the name of my server by the way. Um, here uh, you got all the war zones on the server. I don't suggest that you make that many of them. This is way too many war zones and it's killing my RAM. All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a new zone. So we're gonna go to a spot that I've set up. All right. Here we're gonna build a new Oasis war zone. So let me walk about, get those chunk, chunks showing up. Alright, so we're gonna have a blue team on the side here. There's a little oasis in the middle. And then on the right side. On the right side, of course, you've got Team Red. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's get down there. Alright. So, first thing you gotta do set the outline of the war zone. So we want it to go from one end to the other. So we're gonna build a cuboid around this arena. Arena. So a cuboid is a sort of rectangular volume. And you have to define it by putting down two corners. One at the bottom, one at the top. So here I put down two markers. Red one there and a blue there a blue one on the other side. Maybe you can see it. Alright, so first thing I gotta do is use the command set zone and the name of my zone oasis alright this gives me a wand so a wooden sword I already had one in my hand so I can use that one and with it I just need to right click one corner and left click the other corner so that's what it says here when I use that command so I'm gonna set down one corner with a left click I'm still missing corner 2 it says. So I need to put down corner 2 at the other end. So I put one corner at the bottom, I need to put another at the top. So we're going to go all the way over there. Uh, basically the point of war is uh, to kill the opponents of the uh, other teams and to uh, capture their flags and fight out for monuments which are sort of capture capture points. These capture points gives you he give you health. So here I am at the other end. I've got my wand. I need to set down the second corner. There we go. Tells me I set down the second corner, that the default lobby has been created. So the Warzone lobby is where all the players will get in the zone. So it might be hard to visualize the outline of the zone here right now. What you can do at any time as a zone maker is this right here. This ZM command is zone maker. As you can see, I'm toggling between two modes. And I, as I'm impersonating, impersonating a regular player, you see that I, I can't get in the zone. Right? There are walls that appear all around it. If I try to go on the top, it will be the same thing. All right, let's try this. Ha! Ah, just like magic carpet, right? So this whole zone is protected, and you need to go to it with this command, zone oasis. And basically, here we are, zone oasis. This is the lobby. You can go back to the war hub. Here we are, back at the start. And we know that our new war zone has appeared at the end here, war zone oasis. Alright, so 
let's get back out of this hole and get back into zone maker mode there we go as a zone maker I can do anything inside a zone so I'm gonna start by putting down some teams uh, now the team spawns they take a bit of place vertically so they're not gonna fit if I don't take out this blocks first alright let's do this quickly now here I wanna put down one of the teams so I'm gonna put the team down team red set team red and I've broken everything why'd I do this well the spawn is a bit too big we're gonna move it over here first of all so I just use the same command again there we go that reset our house and I'm gonna change the config of the zone to change the config of a zone you just need to oh hold on somebody's kind my war zone and I'm done not, not done yet so we're gonna do two things at once we're gonna first change the config so we use zone CFG and what we do is we're gonna disable the zone we use disable true and we're gonna change the spawn style to something smaller small so there we go now we can move the spawn back to over here and maybe reset the zone first so these guys get out and mind their own business alright so I'm gonna put down my spawn here so uh, you've seen me put in those options as I change the config uh, you can put in the same options as you're saving the zone so you're gonna see me later save the zone and uh, let's set down the team there we go team red and it's a nice little house and it says we still have five lives so that's a life pool and we can get up to a max of ten points we get points by emptying the other team's life pool or by uh, stealing the flag of the other teams and there's a max of four players the team size is four alright so we still have a lot of work to do we need to put down some flags so let's put down the team red flag you do this by doing set team flag red pretty straightforward and I've uh, screwed something up for sure alright well you see what I mean you need to do a bit of planning over uh, beforehand if you're gonna do this right so here we go Team Red's flag is in a collapsed uh, grotto, we're gonna say. In the middle here, we wanna have a bit of more action, so we're gonna put down a monument. So, the monument the teams fight over, they try to capture with a team from their, flan their, their spawn, uh, with a brick from their spawn. So, let's do set monument. Uh, let's call it uh, middle. Alright, so here we have our monument here in the middle, and people need to put a block of wool of their team's color in the middle and when the team members hang around here they're gonna get some health back and uh, all we got left is put to put down uh, team blues uh, structures so we're gonna they got their spawn sorry about that I had to do a reset last night because of some griefers griefers you know what I mean so here we go gonna do set team blue I said blue as the light blue some people might not like that you, you can use team navy which is a darker color there we go these guys need a flag which is probably gonna collapse on me again oh boy there we go set team flag blue oh collapse on damn alright not too bad that's gonna be it. So there you have it. This is a brand new war zone. Uh, one more thing I could show you is uh, this lobby here. It's in the ground. It's not too pretty. You want you might want to detach it from the zone because it usually appears on the south side, right in the middle of the cuboid. So I'm gonna put it down here. It's gonna be nicer. So we just do set zone lobby. Uh, oh, what is this? My bad. There we go. So we 
filled back our hole, kind of. Kind of destroyed the sand here. Damn sand. Ruining my day. Alright, here we go. So we can get back to the war hub and we can join the teams. But the zone is disabled right now, so people can join and, you know, mess with my life. So I can re enable the zone so people can fight in it. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna save the zone as it is. And then I'm gonna change the option that says it's disabled. So our disabled off. On, true, false, off. It all work. There we go. So I've saved all the blocks in my war zone, so all the collapsed grottos are saved now. And uh, we're good to go. Hope you enjoy this. Hope you have fun with war. And uh, report back on the bucket forums. I always uh, enjoy getting bug reports and, you know, feedback ideas. It's always good to hear from you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.